Hello guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm going to film the hauls from yesterday again because I just feel like they were a little bit rushed and a little bit chaotic. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from Old Polly, Sheen and Primark. Okay, let's get into a mini to large haul. So first up, I picked up this bag from Sheen for my Paris trip because I just feel like it's giving me Paris vibes. It's giving me black dress, black bag, bougie luxury vibes. And I actually think this is such a nice bag. I will link everything that I can down below. I also got this phone case, which is this gorgeous like burgundy color. I'm really in my cherry red burgundy era so I just got that to just kind of add the tones in on Instagram if like I get a picture with my phone or I get some filler pics so I picked that up and then I also got this bag as well I think this was honestly about three pounds I'm not even joking I did think it was the same color as the phone case when I bought it but this is definitely a lot more red it probably matches my nails a bit more um, but I absolutely love this. It's just a little accessory just to wear in Paris. And because I'm traveling on the Eurostar, I don't need to worry as much about luggage, which I just love. Because on a plane, I feel like you're constantly worried about what you can take and what you can not take. I'm just taking whatever I want to this trip and having lots of options. And then next up is this dress. I'll try and pop a photo on of this on because I really, really like it. The only thing I was unsure of is this elastication at the top, if you can see. I just thought that was a little bit, but what else do I expect on Sheen? Um, but it's this asymmetric neckline. So it kind of sits like this on your body. It's got these tiny little sleeves and then it's a ruched dress. But this material is the softest material in the world it's so nice and it's really flattering as well and i just love this dress i actually accidentally bought two so i might give that one away to someone um but i would definitely recommend this dress i really like it and i feel like you can wear this with heels or even like rick owens or converse or high tops you can wear it with some trainers and dress it down maybe with like a trench coat or a coat over your shoulders so yeah I really like this and I think this is going to be versatile on my trip to Paris. I will show you Oh Polly soon, but I'm going to show you Primark first because we all love a good Primark trip, don't we? Yes, we do. I definitely do. And they've got the Christmas bags as well, which I love. I feel like now I'm really in my Christmas festive era. But the first thing I picked up, I actually had on this morning, it's this cropped hoodie. I love me a cropped hoodie, if you can't tell. I've got one on now from H&M. This one was £10. I got a size medium, but I'm not going to lie. I probably, this fits really nice, but I just love oversized. So I kind of wish I got it in a large, but that's okay. But yeah, I picked this cropped hoodie up. I also picked some scarves up as well because I'm loving the aesthetic of wearing an outfit and then having like this big scarf just draped over your coat. I just think it looks really nice. I got this like cable knit scarf which i love this says it was 12 pounds however primark i have some beef with you because this says 10 pounds so i need to check the receipt and work out how much this actually was but this is so soft the only thing with these scarves is i already know this is going to get everywhere if i wear it with black i feel like all the fibers on this are really going to come off that you can kind of like see them but i do really really like this they had matching hats and i think gloves and headbands to this as well this was all part of a range i did do a tiktok actually on primark new in and i think you can kind of see the section on that on tiktok i also bought some cream trousers because there's an outfit i really want to recreate that i saw someone wear in paris so i picked up these cream trousers they're just like a straight leg nice sort of trouser I'm not gonna lie I got these in a size 16 because I know what Primark sizes are like and I think I could have done with an 18 because they are so tight on the booty it's a joke and when it's tight on like the back I always feel like it kind of gives me like a camel toe because like all the materials pull back but yeah I normally am a 12 to 14 for reference so guys this is just proof sizes do not matter but these were actually reduced to seven pounds which I love so I picked up these to wear with maybe some like court heels. I'd love to get like matching heels to the bag. And then maybe a black blazer. That's the kind of outfit I've seen. Uh, but this is definitely more red. I really wanted like more this colour to wear with the, the cream. But anyway, picked them up for £7, which I think is an absolute bargain. And 
save the day because they actually do kind of fit. And then I also picked up this scarf, which I love because it's reversible. So you can almost wear it like two-tone with an outfit. It's so soft. And I feel like this color really complements my skin tone as well. I'm um, not sure about this one. I'm not sure if this is a bit cool. But this was eight pounds and I love it. I think that, again, this had matching like other accessories as well. I've just realized the cable knit scarf was actually 10 pounds. That's good because that 12 pound really threw me off. Then I also got this claw clip. I'm really trying to find a claw clip that holds my hair in because I've got so much hair. Even this I'm not sure is gonna do the job. So let me know if you know any brands that have like big, like wide claw clips that can hold a lot of hair because I'm not convinced on this. I'm not gonna lie. And then I just got a concealer brush, more for my powder because I'm gonna try it. I've seen people doing it. So I wanna try that. And then the showstopper of this whole haul is this jacket that I found in Primark because guys, I absolutely love this jacket it's this big gray jacket it's got this detail in here and then on the sleeves as well it's got a tie belt waist it was 45 pounds so i feel like you could maybe get that in h&m for the same price but i really like the quality of this i got it in a size medium and i'll show you what it looks like on here but it was given i just had it on over a basic outfit with my uggs and it said put together so I feel like this will be a really nice jacket for Paris. It's got black buttons. Again, perfect for me because I wear a lot of black. And I just love the tie waist. It does also sit really nice if you just want to have it on your shoulders. Which I love that look with a jacket. Just on your shoulders. Not fully on. The arms are not in. Um... So yeah, that's the last thing I picked up from Primark. Obviously, if you watched last week's vlog, you will see I got the Skims Duke dressing gown. Guys, if I could get you to do anything right now it is go and get that dressing gown for yourself because it is i've not taken it off and that's probably a little bit disgusting i need to probably get another one but i do not take it off it is my favorite thing i've probably bought all year also what's the um face to hand ratio that's looking a bit crazy sorry about that guys it's making my face look really orange um oh polly next let me just put some of the primark bits away now, I have actually bagged up one of my old poly bits to go back, which was a petite black jumpsuit. I'll pop a picture on screen of what I ordered. It just was like, it fit really nice, apart from this top bit. Felt like I couldn't like pull it high enough over my boobs, and I don't really want the boobs out. Do you know what I mean? So, I think I might size up because I love the way it had that like, um, you know that like line of, is it like silicon or something that kind of like, forces the jumpsuit to stick to you a little bit it did have that on it which i thought oh i'll show you what i mean actually it's like rubber silicon i don't really know but it really allows the dress just to sit how it's meant to um but this dress i tried on earlier i love this dress i got it in the sale guys for like 20 something pounds so i'll try and link it down below for you guys if you like it as well because it's got this like bra detail and then like the long sleeves as well but it actually looks really nice on i couldn't tell when i saw it on the model whether it was going to look nice or a bit trashy but if you wear it right it just looks like you've got a really nice like sweetheart neck with some extra straps so i actually really like the detailing of this i got it in this cream it's got a slit up the leg um, i'll show you what it looks like on the model as well on screen but this was in the sale for like 20 pounds and I cannot argue with old poly quality, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't really shot that brand before. Um, I've got one, one play suit from them. But other than that, I've never really bought anything. And I have to say, I'm impressed. It's given thick and it's given quality. And then I also got this dress from old poly as well, which again, I love. It's got this seam down the front. And again, I'll show you what it looks like on the model. The only thing I need to say about this dress is. I think you're even going to be able to see my feet. I don't know how far to go back, but if I put the dress up to my shoulders and I'm on my tiptoes, it's trailing on the floor. So it's such a long dress. Although I am kind of thinking because I am short and a bit curvy, I'm hoping like the curves will lift it a little bit, but it is the longest dress I've ever seen. To say it's meant to just be like a medaxi. It's not even a maxi dress. Um, it's quite long. 
so yeah that's what i picked up i think that's everything i do really need to start like prepping for paris properly but i just i don't know what it is I don't know what it is. I just feel like I never get that organized when it comes to trips, but I'm gonna start laying my outfits out after the viewing today because I actually have a lady who viewed the property yesterday who wants to come back today. So that's exciting. Fingers crossed for a offer or a sale on my house today. That would be wonderful if that can happen today. Um, so yeah, probably after that, I'll then like lay every, oh no, I've got two viewings tomorrow actually. But anyway, after that, I'll probably then lay out all my clothes in the spare bedroom, see what I've got, see what I need, and really get organised for Paddy. But yeah, AJ should be here any minute now. She sat off 50 minutes ago and said she'd be 45 minutes, so have a feeling AJ will be turning up any time now. Maybe I will, guys. I've just tried these on. How cute are these from Primark? Save me from <laughs> I really like these. <laughs> I had these jeans on which I love, but it's just got this like big pouch of material at the front. Which is look no, look at that now. <laughs> like what is that? Yeah it is. It's just yeah, they're just not quite given. Which is really material wasn't that. I know. I know, imagine if they were just literally oh, it's annoying. I don't know if it's just because I'm short. But how annoying is that? They've got all the winter flavours in Zaflora. We've just picked up the spray one and then they've also got winter scents of fairy as well. What? Britney is in a spray. Oh yeah, it does. I'm going to get it. Ooh, that's nice. This it's just is, a little... This is giving me... AJ's just found this like really cute, like fire. What you, I was about to say fire breathing. <laughs> what do you call it? Fire producing? Fire effect. Fire effect. Uh, B&M actually have a little... It's a bit small. Do you think that's too small? It looks like a toaster. It looks like a bit like a toaster, basically. Ideas. They've got a breakfast muffin maker. A sausage roll maker. A donut maker. A sandwich maker. A fondue. Cookie dough. Crepes. I've always wanted to make a crepe on one of these, AJ. You know, look at these. You know when you see them making yeah. your crepes? Yeah. I'm trying to work out whether to get these glasses. Me too. Sorry, my own video. It's okay. <laughs> I can't work out. I do think they're cool though. This is them. At this point, I feel like this vlog is basically just a haul of everything. But I thought I would show you guys what I picked up in Zara because I have actually had to order like one half of the outfit to store because guys, I found the tracksuit. You guys might know which tracksuit I'm talking about. And just as I spotted the joggers, this woman picked them up and took them to the tail. They were the last ones in Zara in my size. So yeah, I've had to order them, but it's kind of annoying because now I have to drive half an hour to the store on Monday because if not, I'm not going to be able to get them um, in time for Paris. So anyway, I thought I'd show you what I got. So I picked up these like washed out joggers. They're like a wide leg and the good thing is because they're kind of cut like this, I feel like I can cut them shorter if I need them myself because they already kind of have that like cut feel to them so I got them in this like dark grey like this acid wash these were 19.99 which honestly for the quality and feel of these I think is really good so fingers crossed these fit because I think these are just so handy especially for like traveling to Paris um although the set to this is like a jumper rather than like a zip up so that was a bit annoying because I really like that color and then I'll show you this on because this one's this one's easier to put on. I picked up this like leather jacket. I know it's a bit different. And to be honest, the silver hardware is not quite given for me. But I did actually really like the style of this. And also it's got like jeans on the back, like the bum bits. You know, like the pockets on the back of jeans. I don't know if you can see that. But I did really like this jacket. 
I'm just, even now, I'm looking at the silver buttons and I just... What do you guys think? Because I... I wasn't sure, but then Jess said it is quite a different jacket and I agree. It's kind of like different. So I picked this up. This was, I think it was only 35 99 let me check yeah this was 35.99 i got it in a size medium to large so it comes in like small to medium medium to large and then i picked up this is the jacket of the joggers that i've had to order so you guys have probably seen these zara sets anyway but this is like the oversized bomber and then they have matching wide leg joggers so like i said i've ordered them into store it's quite a pricey tracksuit, like this hoodie alone is £30, which I do think is quite pricey. And then I can't remember how much the joggers are, but I just again thought that would be so cute for travelling. It's just a really easy outfit. And then I had to pick up my perfume again because I just feel like, especially with the scents that you love in Zara, just make sure you've got them because it's such a good perfume. This one's Perpetual Oud. And then I just grabbed this bodysuit because I really like the colour of it. And I feel like it'll kind of go as well. Maybe not with this one. Maybe maybe more with the darker. But I just feel like it's giving like grunge. It's not really normally my style. But that's what I picked up from Zara. And then obviously you guys saw me in the changing rooms yesterday. I just picked up the leather trousers. Because the jeans were just... The jeans were not quite given if you saw um, but I picked up these leather trousers because I thought these would be really handy for Paris and then just some exfoliating gloves as well for in the shower because we've got to make sure we're changing those kind of things up regularly. So yeah, that's what I picked up. I do need to actually start packing for Paris at some point but I don't really know when that's going to happen because tomorrow I have client calls and then I've got a VIP day with one of my clients. So we're actually meeting over in Wakefield to have a VIP day, which I'm very excited for. Um, so yeah, it's quite a busy week, but luckily I've got no plans. I've got no plans this weekend, but I do get these vlogs up for a Sunday. So I'm gonna try and push myself to pack on Saturday, so then it's done. And then I can see like if I need to order anything, but I'm in need of a cup of tea right now. I'm in need of a cup of tea. I wanna get my dressing gown on. I wanna get cozy, take my makeup off, but I've just realized I need to go to Sainsbury's because I need some more micellar water. So I'm going to run to Sainsbury's quickly and then, yeah, just going to have a cosy night in tonight. There's probably not much to share, but I just feel a little like all over the shop. Um, I rejected an offer that came in on my house today, which I don't think I'm going to get a counter offer on or like an improved offer. So that's that. We're kind of back to square one, but the viewing that they had today, they said went really well. So we'll see we'll see but i think today was an investor so i have a feeling they're probably going to want a low ball anyway i know i would if i was seeing it as an investment opportunity so yeah that's kind of where we're at in terms of the house which i'm not losing hope i'm not losing hope um so yeah we will see but i need to go to sainsbury's now which i really can't be bothered but if i don't go right this minute i know i'm not gonna go so i'm gonna run to sainsbury's and then have a cozy night in Good morning guys. Oh, let's get that bobble off my wrist. Good morning. It is now Friday. I'm just ready for my VIP day. I'm going to set off in a second because it's going to take me about an hour to get there. But I'm honestly so excited to have a VIP day in person. One of the VIPs I did, I actually had to do on Zoom and like just give her a voucher for food and stuff because I think it was just really bad weather in summer. Um... But yeah, I'm very excited to go and do one in person. I cannot wait. So I'm just going to pack my bag, pack everything up. I'm going to try and get her some flowers on the way. And then we will set off. This is just a real quick OOTD. I've just got a Zara vest top on, some black leggings, and then just this oversized blazer. I'm tempted to maybe like ruche the sleeves a bit. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to set off because I'm the queen of having loads of time at like this point now and still managing to be late because then I faff around. So we're going to, we're going to head out.